Microsoft's relationship with an update schedule is very strange, has been strange, and apparently will continue to be strange. About one year ago, they announced that rather continuing what they had been doing with Windows 10, which was trying to get out two major releases per year, they were going to be shifting to a once per year for major releases. Now, this is similar to what Google does with Android, to what Apple does with OS X and so forth, pretty much with all of their operating systems. They do a once per year major update rather than trying to do two per year or something more complicated than that. And this made a lot of sense for a lot of different reasons. One, it just should be easier to accomplish right trying to get out two big releases in a year is a lot of work it's also kind of crummy for people in the IT field because then they're trying to roll out two updates to their devices a year and that can be a little bit annoying as well so going to once per year made a lot of sense but like I said this was one year ago and in one year a whole lot can change because that is no longer the case. So today we have this headline from Windows Central, of course, Mr. Zach Bowden doing the report in here. Microsoft moves to new Windows development cycle with major release every three years. Feature drops in between. And as he says, this is sort of a return to a more traditional three-year release cycle for major versions of the Windows client while simultaneously increasing the output of new features. And in this article, which I will link in the description because you should definitely go read the entirety of the article, Zach talks about the fact that they've already kind of been testing this a little bit and he cites the new weather widget on the taskbar of Windows 11. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, you can see it right down here. Nice little weather widget. When you click on or you hover over, you get this thing popping out and you can see some of the widgets that you may have customized from there. And that is a good example, apparently, of what we are to expect in terms of the smaller feature releases interspersed in this three-year span as we head towards 2024 and what should then be the release of Windows 12. Now, those smaller updates are apparently being called internally moments. Whether or not moments are what they're going to be called to the rest of the world is unclear, but they are apparently going to be coming every few months, up to four times a year, starting in 2023. So we still have a little bit of time before those moments become a regular scheduled type thing. But overall, these are some really, really big changes. I mean, they're literally tripling the amount of time in between their major releases. That should mean that in 2024, when we get Windows 12, which is what it should be, I guess you could put a pin in this and come back in a couple of years and tell me if I was right or wrong or if Zach was right or wrong, I guess, in this instance. But that means so much more time in between that these, these releases should be far more significant than they would have been otherwise. I mean, we're just talking about going from one year to going to three. That obviously allows much more time for a much larger release to be completed. Personally, I would love to know what the internal mechanisms were that pushed them to go towards this. What did they feel was failing so quickly about their prior announcement? It was just a year ago that they said every year was going to be their major releases, and now here we are changing so radically so quickly. I'm sure there's a great story to be told there. Like I said, the full article is linked in the description, and there are some other details that you're going to want to check out in that article, like what is going to happen to Sun Valley 2 and Sun Valley 3, what will become of these things in light of this new release schedule. Zach does talk about them in the article, but I will leave that in the article for you to go read yourself, so definitely click that link and check it out. Guys, thanks for watching this quick little news brief. I will see you on the next one, and until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.